What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today it's gonna be finally the day when I install MIUI 12 on this device or try to install MIUI 12 on this device and I'm currently on the Evolution X ROM which I have been using from past a lot of days and this is the by far most amazing custom ROM for Redmi K20 Pro in my personal opinion. And I have been enjoying this ROM, it gets like updated like almost every week and there are beta updates like almost every day. So I have been quite enjoying this Evolution X ROM. If you haven't checked out the video of this, you can click on the card right here. And now let's move on to like flashing the MIUI 12 and here let me show you what files do I have. I have the fcrypt disabler. Well, I have been thinking about flashing the fcrypt disabler instead of magic because the goal is to like keep the storage decrypted. So I'll try with the fcrypt disabler and see if it works. It may not, but I'll try it. So it's clearly boot looping and not working. So right now I have to clean flash with Magisk. And here I have the Nick G apps. This is the 27th April basic version of Nick G apps. And I have the open G apps too. And here in the middle, I have this MIUI file or the MIUI 12 actual file. This is the 20.4.27 version. Of course, based on Android 10, almost two and a half GB. And I'll be using the latest Orange Fox recovery, which is R10.1 underscore one stable like recovery. So I have already flashed the recovery. If you don't have the recovery flashed, you can click on the card right here and follow the video. Let me just reboot to the recovery now. And before doing anything, make sure you have a full backup of your device totally on a separate place like a PC. So here I have successfully booted into my Orange Fox recovery. Let me show you the version again from here. As you can see, this is the R10.1 underscore stable build. Yes, I was on a custom ROM, so I might need to format data, but I will try without formatting that if I can flash it. So now let's just go to wipe. I will wipe Dalvik, cache, system, vendor, and data, these five things. So I'll swipe to wipe. And my storage is decrypted by the way. Now let's just go to home. Let's go to the download folder. And here I'll first select the Rafael MIUI 12 zip file. Now swipe to install. Okay, so I'm getting error seven here. So let's try a different recovery maybe. Okay, so right now I have changed the recovery to the Orange Fox version 10.0-6. So you can use this recovery and huge thanks to Anirban for guiding me to use this recovery. And here I'll just go to my download folder again and try flashing everything as I have wiped like earlier. So I don't need to wipe again. All right. Now let's just go to the download folder again. So I'll flash the MIUI file ROM file. This is the actual ROM file. Then add to queue. Then I'll select the Nick G apps, which is this one. As you can say, 27th April 2020 build of Nick G apps basic and then add to queue. Then I'll select Magisk and swipe to install. And let's see if it works. So it flashed the ROM. Right now it's flashing the Nick G apps. And that's done. Now it's time for the Magic version 20.4. All right, so it says successful. What I did is that I booted into the 10.0.6 Orange Fox recovery, flashed the ROM file with the Nick G apps basic, and then flashed the Magic version 20.4. Right now I'm rebooting here it's like directing me back to the recovery right now we have to format data that is the reason why you should have a backup on your pc or somewhere now to format data i'll just go to menu then manage partition then select from here data as you can see and then hit right then tap on format data and then type yes okay as the data formatting is successful Right now, if I reboot back to the ROM, it will keep the storage as encrypted and it will need like once I enter pin in the UI, it will need that pin to enter into the recovery. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the storage decrypted. So I will need to reboot the recovery right now. Let me reboot the recovery and I'll flash everything all over again so that my storage keeps like decrypted. As you can see, I don't have anything over here, but still, if I reboot now, it's still gonna direct me into the UI and make the storage encrypted. Okay, so I copied all those files that I needed and here I have all the files again over here. You don't need the Orange Fox recovery to have. Here you need only three files, the MIUI Rafael MIUI 12 zip file, then the Nick G apps and the Magisk. 
So I'll just select the MIUI like 12 file and then add to Q. The Nick G apps then add to Q and Magisk again. Now I'll select reboot after installation and I'll swipe to confirm flash. And this is how you keep your storage decrypted. Yes, you have to like flash the ROMs like twice with the same method. But yeah, it's kind of how it is. There is no way around like to avoid losing data while flashing MIUI 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro at least. Like on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, you don't even need to format your data to flash the MIUI 12. That's really, really cool for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. But for the Note 7 Pro and K20 Pro, the methods is kind of similar. Again, the same things are happening. So it's flashing the like ROM after that. It's flashing the Nick G apps now and then Magisk version 20.4 and as I have selected reboot automatically after install so it will reboot whenever like it's finished the install as you can see it shows successful right now it's rebooting automatically and what I'm noticing here it shows a unlocked logo up top there if you can see it I hope you guys can see that unlocked logo I think this is how it looks like on the newer MIUI when the bootloader is unlocked now I think we just have to wait for a couple of minutes Okay, so it's showing me to like log into my me account. So I'll do that. So let's just connect to our Wi-Fi network here. And I don't really like this keyboard at all, but we have to use it. So yeah, here we have the setup wizard of me Y12 on the Redmi K20 Pro. I will continue with the setup process. This animation does look really, really cool. Just look at this. Now it says swipe to enter the system. And this was pretty much, in my opinion, really fast like setup process here. And we do have the Play Store and stuff. I need to sign into my Google account here, which I'll do like later on. But first, let me show you the settings and stuff. Yes, the quick screen panel, let me show you. Kind of, it feels smooth, not too bad, I guess. And here, let me go back to my device. And here, inside all specs. We have the Android version and stuff and in the MIUI version, it says the version 20.4.27 MIUI 12 of course, nightly build. In the all specs again, it showed up right now, it shows Redmi K20 Pro here, then the RAM and stuff it shows up, resolution, camera resolution and stuff. Then the Android version is still like Android 10 of course. Let me go back, the security patch is of 1st April 2020. And the stock kernel is the perf kernel and it shows the internal storage again and it does this storage kind of animation over here if you're noticing also let's try the face unlock quickly okay so it does pop up the camera and the setup went fine let's add like this unlock using face data okay let's go back okay so i have to swipe up then it unlocks fine now let's try with the figment scanner all right now it unlocked for once it did not unlock and now let's try again and it has unlocked let's quickly try to place a call and see if it's working this is how the dialer looks like okay so the calling is working fine looks like it's wi-fi calling if you're looking at the icon up top there and video call option is there then the call recording option and stuff is there calling and stuff vaulty calling should be working fine even though this is a closed china beta and here if you go to the wallpaper section we have the super wallpapers okay so once i enable this wallpaper it shows turn on always on display so i did that all right from the always on display it looks like this amazing and here if i unlock if you notice the animation from the always on display Super dope, right? And I just quickly opened the camera app and it looks a lot different. As you can see, it looks like kind of still iOS. It shows like photo or whatever you have selected in yellowish, as you can see. And inside video, we have this kind of menus. We have up to 4K 60fps option, but all these things looking a lot like polished. If you notice, as you can see, the lens switching and stuff is really fast here. We have also the AI mode and stuff. And even you have these kind of settings inside this like photo mode. And then if you go to the portrait mode and stuff, it still has this like blur kind of effect. Over here, you can adjust it as you're liking. And inside more, we have this 48 megapixel option and stuff. So yep, quite a lot of options. We have the vlog mode inside more, 
not in the video settings these are like really cool the camera app actually is looking amazingly good and even the front camera and stuff is working fine here we have the beauty mode over here i guess and as you can see a lot of options are there so pretty cool so yeah we have miui 12 up and running on this device yes i'll be using it as a daily driver but you should not because this is a closed beta and this is how you flash miui 12 on the redmi k20 pro and it should work fine for most of you guys Thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now